In this lesson, you're going to create a scoreboard or a heads up display, and we'll probably place that heads up display in the top left hand corner. And what we want to happen is when we collect a coin, the score will increase by one and the heads up display will display that new score. Well, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is to make sure that level one is selected in my scene tree. I'm going to click to add a new child node. And this one is just going to be the control node here. So I'll create a new control node. And with my control node, I'm just going to change this to heads up display HUD. With this HUD selected, I'm going to click to add a new child node. And this one is going to be a panel. And I'm going to create that. And again, back to my heads up display, I'm going to add another child node. And this one is going to be a label. And the label will just display the text, the score. Now this panel, it's a little bit small, so let's just increase the size a little bit here. And we can also change the styling of this. So over in the inspector, we can go to theme overrides and styles. And in here we can select new style box flat. You can see the color has changed straight away by doing that. Let's click on new style box flat over here and we can change the color. You can choose anything you wish. I'm going to go for something fairly dark and just reduce the alpha so I can see through the scene behind that heads up display. I think the other thing I want to do is just change the corner radius, something maybe like 15 on each of the corners. And there we go. That's our little panel sorted. Now with the label selected, obviously there's no text in there yet. Let's go over here to the inspector and we'll just type in here score. And obviously the text is a little bit bland in here so we can customize that. So down here in theme overrides, we'll click on that. We'll go to fonts. A lot of students would go over here to the resources area, grab the font and try and drop it into here. Well, you can't do that. So what we need to do is just click on this drop down, go to new dynamic font. Click on that and now we have access to the font data here. So I can click on my font and drag it and drop it onto there. Now it's still a little bit small so I can go into the settings and maybe change it to something like oh, maybe 30 pixels should be enough. And that seems reasonable. Let's just move that into the center or down the left hand side and into the middle. That should do. And I think what I'll do, I'll click on the uh, root node here for the HUD and just group everything together. And now I can just move this down to run about there. That seems reasonable. OK, well, we need some way of tracking the score. And the way we can do that is with a global script. Obviously, this HUD will go across multiple levels. We need to track score across multiple levels. So what we can do here in our resources area, the file system, is we can right click. We're going to add a new script. I'm going to call this one global. You can call it whatever you wish. I'm going to create that. And with that created, I'm just going to double click on it to open it. And in here, I'm just going to create a variable called score. And I'm going to set that equal to zero. OK, well, let's go back to our HUD. And in the HUD, I also need to add a script and click on create. And in here, what I want to do is call the ready function. So function underscore ready. So once this has loaded, what do we want to do? Well, what I want to do is to update the HUD label. So let's access that by saying dollar label. I want to change the text of that label. So dot text. And I want to set that, set that equal to the following. I want to set it equal to score. I'll pop a space in there. And then I want to add on that global score that we've just created. So that's quite easy. So global dot score. Now this isn't going to work because global score is a number and we're trying to assign it to text. So what I need to do is convert this to text and that's quite easy. We just type in string and then wrap this in brackets like that. Now you can see we've got an error here and the error says that the identifier global isn't declared in the current scope. Now what that means is in the project settings, we need to load in that global script. So go to auto load. We can search for the global script. There it is and open. 
and we can name it global or whatever you wish and just click on add. And now what that will do, that will load or automatically load this global script. So all of the variables within that are available throughout the game. We can click on close and that should disappear. We just click on save there and we get rid of that error. Okay, well, let's go ahead and just test the game. So I click on play. And we go up here, you can see the score has set itself to zero, which is what it should be. And when I click a coin, oh, we don't get a score increase. And the reason obviously is we haven't told the script on the coin to increase the score by one. Let's go ahead and do that. So on the coin here, we can go to the script. And obviously once the player has entered the coin, we want to increase that score by one. Well, that's easy to do. All we need to say is go to the global script and then access the score and then set that equal to plus equal. So add one to the global score. Well, that will take care of increasing the score by one, but the heads up display won't actually increase. In other words, it'll still display zero. Let me just show you that. So if I click on play, and we can go through, we can collect a coin. The score has actually increased to one, but it doesn't update the HUD. What we need to do is send a signal to the HUD to say what you need to do is display the new score. So we can do that here. We can create a custom signal. And let's just call this coin collected. So a coin has been collected. And then what we can do in here is when the player obviously touches the coin, we can emit that signal. So we say emit signal. And which signal do we want to emit? Obviously it's coin underscore collected. Okay, well just let me recap what we've done here. What we've done is we've created this custom signal called coin collected. Now what that actually means is if we go to the coin and we go to our nodes, we can see here we have this custom signal called coin collected. And what we're doing is we're saying, well, if the player touches the coin, we increase the global score by one, but we're also going to emit this signal. And all we need to do is to tie this signal to a script in the HUD. And we can do that by double clicking on here. So double click. And if you scroll down, we can see there we've got our HUD. And it says, we're going to call this on coin coin collected. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. So let's just change that to on coin collected and we'll connect. So what we've done is we've sent a signal to this HUD script on coin collected. Well, what do we want to do when the coin has been collected? Well, what we really want to do is to display this. Well, instead of copying this and pasting it down here, all we need to do is just call this method again. So we can just say underscore ready. So whenever a coin is collected, we go to ready and we update the score. Let's test that. I'll click on play. We can go along and we can collect a coin. And there we go. We've got one collected. Now let's go to the second coin. Oh, it should update to two, but it doesn't. And the reason is, is this coin instance here where we've updated the script and the signal is different from this coin here and this coin here. Now what you can do, you can click on that coin. You could go to the coin collected there. You can double click on that. You could scroll down, go to the HUD. You could rename it again to on coin collected. Or if you choose, you can just delete these. So delete those nodes. Okay. Go to my 2D scene here. And with the coin selected, I can press Command D or Control D. That's created a second coin. I can now move that wherever I wish. And with this second coin, it obviously takes on anything, the signals, etc., that we had in that first coin. Let me just do another one, Command D, and we'll just move that one maybe into here. And obviously you can place as many coins as you wish throughout your scene or your level. Let me click on play just to show that's working. And we can scroll up and we collect the first coin and collect the second coin and the score has increased.